ओके वेलकम टू द लेक्चर नंबर ट्वेल्व ऑफ थ्योरी ऑफ कंप्यूटेशन सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल गो थ्रू हाउ टू रिप्रेजेंट द ग्रामर ऑफ ए लैंग्वेज then if a grammar is given how to obtain the language for that grammar and if a grammar is language is given how to obtain the grammar for a language so all of you know that every language has a particular grammar so let me give you an example of a natural language then i will go through the formal languages like programming languages so let me write a sentence ram ran quickly so ram ran quickly it's a absolutely a correct sentence sentence ram ran quickly so now i want to check whether this sentence is correct or not or this sentence is syntactically correct or not or according to the grammar of english language whether it is correct or not so first i need to define the grammar of english language so for a smaller examples or for small sentences let me define the grammar like this s is the start symbol s consist of noun verb and adverb now a sentence may consist of also only noun and verb so here you see noun may be ram sham gita and verb may be ran ate so similarly you can put all the verbs over here and similarly you can put all the nouns over here also and here i have put two adverbs one is slowly and quickly now let me check a sentence whether ram ran quickly is a valid sentence or not so i initially i have to begin from the start symbol s so i have started from s so here there are two productions of s one is noun verb adverb another one is noun verb so here you can see that ram is a noun ran is a verb and quickly is a adverb so i will use the production s gives to noun verb and adverb next what i will do i will expand this noun so here what i want i want ram so noun gives to ram yes noun gives to ram so here in place of noun i have put ram so ram then verb then adverb now here you see in place of verb what i can put i can either put ran or i can put at so here what i require i require ran so here i have put ram instead of verb i have put ran then here at verb okay so now in place of this at verb what i will put why i can put either slowly or quickly so here you see in this sentence what i require so i require quickly so in place of adverb i can put quickly so ram ran quickly so here you see i have derived the target string from the start symbol by using the productions of the language okay so here as i am able to derive the target string from the start symbol i can say that this is a perfect sentence based on the grammar of this language okay so similarly based on the grammar of a particular or syntax of a particular programming language you can check whether the program is syntactically correct according to the grammar of that language or not so what is the clear phrase structure of a grammar the phrase structure of a grammar g can be represented by four tuples one is b b is nothing but finite set of variables t is nothing but finite set of terminals P is nothing but finite set of productions, and S is the start symbol of the production. So here, let me go through the previous example. In this previous example, what is S? S means the symbols which appear only on the, or not only, which appears on the left and right hand side of a production. So here you see, this is a production which is of the form alpha gives to beta. So here you see, S is a variable, noun is a variable. verb is a variable adverb is a variable okay so usually the variables are represented by capital letters so these are represented by capital letters okay next t t is the finite non empty set of terminals terminals means what from that symbol you cannot derive any other symbol so in the previous example here you see that the terminals are 
a noun is not a terminal because from noun what you can derive you can either derive Sam, Ram or Gita whereas Sam is a terminal because from Sam you cannot derive any other terminal Ram is a terminal because Ram from Ram you cannot derive any other symbol similarly Ren is a terminal, 8 is a terminal, Wacht is a terminal, Slowly is a terminal, close, Quickly is a terminal so terminals are the symbols from which you cannot derive any other thing. So usually we will use lowercase English alphabet letter, so lowercase letter to represent the terminals. Then P, P is nothing but finite number of productions. So here you see here how many productions are there? This is one production, this is one production, this is one production. Similarly, all these are one one production. So here you can see that the productions are in the form alpha gives to beta. So the productions are in the form alpha gives to beta. So what you can do when you are appearing an alpha, you can replace that alpha with the symbol beta. We will go through all these things, you don't worry, we have just started. Okay. So is, is the production in the form alpha gives to beta, alpha consists of alpha consists of some combination of variables and terminals. Okay, so at least alpha should have one variable. So alpha should have at least one variable. Whereas the right hand side may consist of variables and terminals. So here it should be V plus V star. So here you can also have epsilon also. So it should contain any combination of variables and terminals. So S, what is S? S is a special variable. So out of many variables B, S represents the special variable that is called as start variable or start symbol. Means from that variable you have to start the production. So here you see in the previous example, here also we have taken S as the start symbol. So you see while deriving the target string, I have started from the start symbol and I have used the productions of the language then by using the productions of the language I am trying to derive the target string. So if I am trying to, I have successfully derived the target string from the start symbol S then I will say that this string is accepted by this grammar. So now let me go through some small examples so that you can easily understand what, what is happening in this. Okay, so first one is find the language accepted by the following grammar. So here you see, the so language means I have already told you, language is nothing but a finite set of strings. So what is a string? A string is nothing but finite non-empty concatenation of symbols or here you can say the terminals. So here you see this grammar has four things. One is B. So how many variables are there? A single variable is there that is S. How many terminals are there? So in this grammar, there are two terminals that is 0 and 1. So terminals represents what? Terminals represents the strings that will be present in the strings. Okay. So here a string consists of only zeros and 1. So that's why the terminal contains a set of two things. One is 0, another in 1. Another in 1 is 1. Now this one is productions. So how many productions are there? There are two productions. One is S gives to 0 H1, another one is S gives to epsilon. So you can also write this production in this form. S gives to 0 S1 or epsilon. So for simplicity, as I am beginning or as I am going giving you the first example, I have written it. But next time onwards, when there are two productions whose left hand side is same, then I will represent it like this. Next, S. S is the start symbol. So here what I want to find? I want to find the language that is accepted by the grammar G. So the language accepted by the grammar G. So L of C. It is denoted by L of G. So here which strings will present over here? Let us see. So S is the start symbol. So either you can apply S gives to 0 S1 or you can apply S gives to epsilon. So here you see if you will apply S gives to epsilon we will get a terminal symbol that is epsilon. Now, instead of epsilon, if you will apply S gives to 0 S1, so you have got 0 S1, 0 S1. Now, here S is a symbol. So, in place of 0 S1, what you can put? Either you can put S gives to epsilon or again you may put S gives to 0 S1. 
So if you will put S P H to zero S one, what you will get? You will get zero instead of S. I will put zero S one, zero S one. Next one. So you have got zero zero S one one, right? So instead of S, you may also put epsilon. If you will put epsilon over here, if you will put epsilon over here, what you will get? You will get zero epsilon one. Epsilon is a zero length string, so I will I can omit it. I have got zero one. So now you see, so you may either get zero or one. Next, what you can get instead of this S, either you may put zero S one or you can put epsilon. So in place of this, if you will put zero S one, what you will get zero 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 S one one one. So here you see. In place of this S, I have put zero S one, so you will get this string. But this is not a string. You will get this expression. Now, in place of this S, if you will put epsilon, then what you will get? You will get a string zero zero epsilon. Epsilon means zero length string, so you can omit it. So zero zero one one. So here you see, in this language, you will get another string zero zero one one. Similarly, here also you can put S gives to zero S one, or you can put S gives to epsilon. So if you will put S gives to epsilon, you will get zero 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 one one one. If you will instead of this S, if you will put zero S one, what you will get zero 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 S one. In place of this S, I have put zero S one 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 one. So you have got a string zero 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 one. Similarly, this one also you can expand. So here you see. Similarly, if you will put in place of s for n times, what you will get? You will get zero to the power n, one to the power n. So dot dot dot. It will accept strings like this. So what is the language accepted by this grammar? It is nothing but zero to the power n, one to the power n for all n greater than equal to. Greater than equal to zero or one. Greater than equal to zero. Because you see, if you will put zero over here, zero to the power zero, one to the power zero. Zero to the power zero is nothing but epsilon. One to the power zero is nothing but epsilon. Epsilon concatenated with epsilon, you will get epsilon. So you will see, you have got this symbol. Now zero to the power one, one to the power one. So what you will get? You will get zero one. So here you see, you have got the string zero one. So similarly, the language accepted by this grammar will nothing but it is zero to the power n, one to the power n for all n n greater than equal to zero. So I hope you have you are getting a little little bit. Let me go through another example so that you will be much more clear. So here, what do you want to find? Find the language accepted by the following grammar. Okay, so here we need to find L of G means the language accepted by this grammar. So here again I have represented the grammar in four tuples. One is B. This one is terminals. These are the set of production. This is the start symbol S. So now you have to start from the start symbol S. So S gives to. So here you see there is only a single production. So what you will do? S gives to S. Now in this S, what you can put? You can put again S S. So S S S. So in this S or in any of the S, you can put S S. So you see, always you are getting the variables. So you are unable to go through any of the terminals. So I have already told you, strings consist of only terminals or input alphabet. But here you see, you cannot derive a single string. From the start symbol S by using the productions of the language. So here the language accepted by the grammar is nothing but phi. So I hope all of you have understood this one. Next, let me write another grammar over here. Let me write a grammar, or let me write that grammar. Then I will tell you which language that will accept this grammar, or that will be accepted by this grammar. So G equal to. Let me write S. Zero one. S gives to zero or one. So here you see there are two productions. Here I have represented there two productions. One is S gives to zero. Another one is S gives to one. 
next let me write the start symbol yes so what is the language accepted by this grammar so here you see the start symbol is s so from s what you can get so you can either use s keys to zero so you see zero is a string because it consists of only terminals so l of g will accept zero next from s what you can put s gives to one so you see one is again a string because it consists of only terminals so here you see so the language accepted by this language is zero and one so this is the l of g of the grammar g next let me go through another example so i am giving multiple examples so that you can easily understand what i am trying to say you okay so here find the language so i have to find the language accepted by the following grammar g so i have to find l of g so now here you see this is variables so how many variables are there a single variable s is there there are two terminals one is a so i have already told you the lower case letters i will use for terminals the upper case letters i will use for variables so this is the set of production p and this is the start symbol s so this is nothing but b t p s so now you see i can start from the start symbol so initially i can put s gives to epsilon so you see epsilon is a element of this language next instead of epsilon i can put a s b b so s gives to a s b b so now you see in place of this s i can again use either s gives to epsilon or s gives to aspb so what i will get s gives to if i will put epsilon over here so if i will put epsilon over here so i will get abb so here i will get abb now in place of this s if i will put s gives to asbb then what i will get i will get s gives to a a s b b so this much i have replaced b b is that clear so now you see here if i will apply instead of this s a s gives to a s b b for n times then what i will get so here if i will apply for n times i will get s gives to a to the power n s b to the power 2n is that clear here is i have applied two times so i have got a to the power 2 that is concatenation of two s a a s and four b four b means b to the power 2 into 2 yes so similarly if i will apply n times i will get a to the power n s b to the power 2n so here you see so similarly all the strings of this form will be accepted or will be in the language l of g so here you see here what should be the language that is accepted by this a to the power n b to the power 2n for all n greater than equal to 0 so you see when n equal to 0 what i will get a to the power 0 b to the power 2 into 0 means a to the power 0 b to the power 0 you, you will get epsilon epsilon you will get epsilon now if i will put n equal to 1 so what i will get a to the power 1 b to the power 2 it's nothing but a b b so this symbol you will get this string sorry this string you will get so similarly all the strings you will get so what is the language accepted by this grammar this is nothing but this one. a to the power n b to the power 2 n for all n greater than equal to 0 now let me go through another example find the language accepted by the following grammar you see this is similar to the previous example here there is this is the variables b this is terminals these are the production p this is the start symbol s now you see in the previous example what we did s gives to asbb and s gives to epsilon but here s gives to asbb and s gives to abb we haven't have the term or the string epsilon so what is the language accepted by this grammar l of c is nothing but so here one may apply s gives to abb so abb is a string because it consists of only terminals so l of g will accept abb now 
So someone may also apply S gives to A, S, B, B. So here you see, here you are having a variable S. So in place of S, either you can apply A, S, B, B or you can apply A, B, B. So if you will apply A, B, B, what you will get? You will get A, A, B, B. So in place of this S, I have applied A, B, B. Okay, B, B. But in place of this S, one may also apply S gives to a S B B. So what you will get? A A S B B B B. Now if you will apply this term for n times, then what you will get? So if you will apply this one for n times, you will get a to the power n s b to the power 2n. Now in place of s finally, if you will apply a b b. So what you will get? a to the power n a b b b to the power 2n or here you can you will get a to the power n plus 1 b to the power 2 into n plus 1 is that clear so a b b a a b b b b you will get so you will get the strings like this okay so here the l of g is nothing but a to the power n b to the power 2n but here for all n greater than equal to 1 it's not 0 you see in the previous example we have n is greater than equal to 0 because if you will put 0 over here you will get the string epsilon but here you are not accepting epsilon you are accepting at least a b b so here i will start from for all n greater than equal to 1 so that if you will put n equal to 1 you will get this string if you will put n equal to 2 you will get this string similarly it will go on so now let me write another grammar for the language. So what? Ah, hundred lagya. No, hundred per hour missing. Write a grammar that will accept all the odd length binary palindrome. So here, what we have to do? We have to write a grammar. So here the language is given. What is the language? All the binary palindromes of odd length. So, 0 is a palindrome. So, I hope all of you know what is palindrome. Palindrome means M A M. Okay. So, from the beginning and from the end, these two are same. M A M. If you will reverse it, you will get M A M. Similarly, if you, if you will write E Y E, you will get I. From the left, you will get I. From the right also, you will get I. Is that clear? So, these are the palindromes. So, odd length palindrome means what? The number of symbols present in the palindrome is odd. Okay. So here write a grammar that will accept all odd length binary palindromes. Binary means it consists of only 0 and 1. So 0 is a odd length palindrome. 1 is a odd length palindrome. Similarly, 0 0 is a 0 0 0 is a odd length palindrome. 1 1 1 is a odd length palindrome. 0 0 0 0 0 is a odd length palindrome 1 1 1 1 1 is a odd length palindrome similarly it will go on ok so now here you see or another palindromes are also there for example 1 0 1 0 1 0 so you have to represent all these strings by your grammar ok so how will you do it so how will you do it? Let us see. So now here we will start. We will have the grammar G which consists of a start symbol or a variable S. Terminals. So here what are the terminals? 0 is a terminal, 1 is a terminal. Then what are the productions over here? S gives to 0 or 1 or 0 S 0. So you see. If you are getting a 0 on the left side, you will get another 0 on the right hand side. Similarly, 1 is 1. So, these are the productions. Then, what is the start symbol? S will be the start symbol. Is that clear? So, here you see, this is the grammar that will accept all odd length palindromes, odd length binary palindromes. So, I hope all of you have understood this one. So now let me give you one example. 
to derive a string let me derive whether this one is a palindrome or not by using the grammar of the language so i will start from the start symbol s so here what i will use so 0 1 0 so i will start from 0 so 0 s 0 now in place of this s what i can put i want to derive 0 1 0 so in place of this s i will use 1 so that i will get 0 1 0 so now you see i am able to derive the target string 0 1 0 from the start symbol s by using the productions of the or by using the grammar of the language so you can say that this string is acceptable by this grammar so now write a grammar that will accept all even length palindromes even length binary palindromes so what is the language for this one l of t is nothing but so it should accept zero length zero is even number epsilon and it will accept zero zero it will accept one one it will accept zero 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 it will accept one 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 it will accept zero one one zero it will accept one zero zero one like this so how will you draw how will you define a grammar for this one so here you see here you are getting an epsilon so the grammar will be it consists of a start symbol s now b this is b next t t is nothing but terminal the 0 and 1 will be the terminals next p so what should be the p s gives to epsilon so you see you will get epsilon from here next s gives to 0 s 1 0 s 0 if you are getting a 0 over here from the beginning you should have a 0 from the towards the end similarly 1 s 1 so this much will be quite efficient to represent all the even length binary palindromes so here what you will get here you will get s start symbol so these are the productions p and this is the start symbol s now let me go through another example write a grammar that will accept all the binary palindromes means it will accept all the zero length all the even length palindromes as well as all the odd length palindromes so the language accepted by this is l of g equal to epsilon 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 what should be the grammar for this one? We have already done it for the previous one. So here S will be the start, start symbol as well as S is the single variable. The terminals will be 0 and 1. And the productions will be S gives to epsilon 0, 1 or 0 S 0 or 1 S 1. Or 1 S 1. And here the start symbol will be s okay so here you see it will accept epsilon it will accept a zero it will accept one so zero is zero in place of this if you in place of this s if you will apply epsilon then you will get zero zero one s one if you in place of this s if you will apply epsilon then you will get one one similarly recursively you can apply it so that you can get all the binary palindromes Write a grammar that will accept 0 to the power n for n is greater than or equal to 0. So, what should be the language for this one? L of c is nothing but it's epsilon because n is greater than or equal to 0. When n equal to 0, 0 to the power 0, you will get epsilon. 0 to the power 1, you will get 0. 0 to the power 2, you will get 2, 0. 0 to the power 3, you will get 3, 0. Similarly, you will get all the 0 to the power n string within this language so what should be the grammar for this one the grammar for this one should be s this is the variable so what are the terminals here there is a single terminal that is 0 so what are the productions s gives to epsilon because you want to accept epsilon also or s gives to 0 s so now you see if you if you will use s gives to 0 s s gives to 0 s then in place of this s if you will use epsilon so what you will get you will get 0 
Now in place of this s, if you will again use zero s, what you will get? You will get zero zero s. And in place of this s, if you will use epsilon, then what you will get? You will get zero zero. In place of this s, you can apply zero s any number of times or n number of times. So after applying zero gives to or s gives to zero s n times, you will get zero to the power n s. So similarly, then you will apply instead of s epsilon. So that you will get zero to the power n. So this much is sufficient. Then s will be the start symbol. So this is the grammar which will assert the language zero to the power n for n is greater than zero. Now write a grammar that will accept l of g equal to zero to the power n for n is greater than equal to one. So here you see here it was greater than equal to zero, but now it is greater than equal to one. It means what? It will not. Except epsilon. So, what should be the language for this one? L of g will be one. Sorry, zero, 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 zero. Dot, dot, dot. So, what should be the grammar for this one? The grammar for this one is s will be the variable, zero will be the terminal. S gives to epsilon here. We will not put here. We will start from s equal to zero. Or s gives to zero s, then s will be the start symbol. So here you see, if you will apply s equal to zero, so it will accept zero. But if you will apply s gives to zero s, then in place of this s, if you will apply zero, then what you will get two zero. Similarly, if you will apply s gives to zero s n number of times, so what you will get s gives to zero to the power n s. Then in place of s, if you will apply zero, then what you will get? Zero to the power n zero, so that you will get zero to the power n plus one. Now let me go through another example. Write a grammar G that will accept l of G equal to zero to the power two n. So this is pretty simple. This is similar to similar to this one. Okay. So zero to the power two n n greater than equal to one. So what should be the grammar for this one? So g equal to g equal to s. So you will start from the start symbol s. Then you will go through the terminals. So here the terminals are zero. Then here the production s gives to zero zero or s gives to zero zero s. So here you see here you will always get multiple of zeros. So then the start symbol is nothing but s. Similarly, zero to the power n, one to the power n. So what is the language for this one? What is the grammar for this one? G equal to s. Then terminals are zero and one. And here you want to get zero to the power n, one to the power n. So you, when you will get a zero on the right hand side, you should get a one. Okay. So s gives to zero s one or zero one. Then here the start symbol will be s. So this is the grammar that will accept the language zero to the power n, one to the power n, n is greater than One greater than equal to one, but if n is greater than equal to zero, then what you will do? Then it should accept epsilon also. So the grammar should be g equal to s zero one, and here s gives to epsilon or zero s one. So this grammar will accept zero to the power n. One to the power n for n is greater than equal to zero, right? So now write a grammar that will accept all the strings of the form zero to the power m, one to the power n. M is greater than n. So m is greater than n, greater than equal to n. So here you see, so m may be equal to n, or m may be greater than equal to n. So you see, in the previous example, what we have done. We have done zero to the power n, one to the power n. Means here both n are same. But here, what do we have to do? Additionally, we have to do one thing where the number of zeros may be greater than number of ones. 
So what should be the grammar for this one? So the grammar for this one is nothing but S will be the start symbol. Next here 0 and 1 will be the terminals and the productions will be S gives to 0 S. So it can be applied any number of times. So you will get multiple more than one more than zeros more zeros than ones or it can give to you a so here there is another variable we have to use so s comma a here we will use another variable a so a gives to 0 s 1 or epsilon and here the start symbol will be s so this grammar will generate all the strings of the form 0 to the power m 1 to the power n where m is greater than n so now you see how it will do it let me clarify you so s gives to 0 s so if you will apply this for k times what you will get you will get 0 to the power k s now in place of this s suppose you have applied a so what you will get 0 to the power k a so now in place of a what you will apply 0 suppose you have applied 0 s 1 so 0 to the power k you have applied 0 s 1 sorry here is to be 0 a 1 0 a 1 suppose you have applied 0 a 1 0 a 1 now suppose in place of a you have applied 0 a 1 for m times then what you will get 0 to the power k 0 to the power m a 1 to the power m is that clear now in place of a if you will apply epsilon then what you will get 0 to the power k 0 to the power m epsilon means this a will be omitted then 1 to the power so now you see you have got 0 to the power m and 1 to the power m additionally you have got k extra zeros so here the this one if you will consider this both two as m and i will make it as n let me instead of m if i will use n then you see m is greater than equal to n so this is the grammar that will accept the language 0 to the power m 1 to the power n where m is greater than 